Welcome to our Getting Started tutorial on distance learning in St. Lucie Public Schools. You will head to St. Lucie Public Schools main website and at the top you will click on student webmail. You will then enter your child's 562 number at stlucieschools.org. That is their email address. It will now redirect us to our organization's sign-in page. The password will be your child's five-digit lunch number. After you enter that, you'll click sign in. It'll ask you if you'd like to be signed in. I would say no if multiple people are utilizing the computer or device. Once you're in, you will notice that this is essentially your Microsoft Office 365 dashboard. From here, you're able to access any of the various Microsoft applications to utilize for your learning. However, I want to draw your attention to one of the most important ones that is in here, and that is Microsoft Teams. Your child and their teacher will be utilizing Microsoft Teams for communication and collaboration purposes. It's important that you know that you can click on the icon here to access Teams, or the other option is you can go to our waffle at the top left side of your screen, and you will notice that Teams is also an option here. So either way, we'll bring you into the web version of Teams. The great part about that is that you do not need to download anything in order to utilize these applications in their web version. So that means they will work across devices such as Chromebooks, iPads, tablets, mobile devices even. So in order to get started with communication and collaboration with your child and their teacher, I would suggest clicking on Microsoft Teams. Once you click on Microsoft Teams, it will bring you into that application and you'll know you're in the right place because it'll have a purple ribbon at the top as well as the left side of your screen. The first time that you open it, it will take a moment to initialize, but then you will land on the Teams dashboard page. You'll notice that it does prompt you to possibly download the Teams desktop app. You can do that and that is no problem. It's a free app and it works across multiple platforms if you'd like to. Otherwise, as I said, you can also just use it in the web version, and this is the web version that you're seeing here. So at the top, you have the ribbon signifying that it's Microsoft Teams. On the left-hand side, you have various icons to show the applications. Once inside your Teams, you'll notice that there are various Teams that your child will have loaded onto their dashboard. It might have a common name because it was renamed as third grade math, or it might have the name that is given to it in Skyward, which is your child's schedule. Either way, those teams are ready for learning with the student and the teacher. So what you can do is take note to the team's dashboard. I can click on any one of these cards to go into one of the teams. Once I do, you will notice that there is a general channel that will appear in every team. This general channel is typically meant for announcements and communication that the teacher would like to share out with their class. It's a great way to keep in touch and communicate with one another. If you would like to stay in the know, you can see that at the bottom right, when you first log in, you're going to be getting asked if you would like to turn on desktop notifications. You can choose to turn them on and that will just be another way to let you know when there's updates and changes and information being communicated within the teams that you're a part of. Or if you would prefer not to, you can just dismiss this and it will leave it be. On the left hand side, I'd like to familiarize yourself with a couple of different additional icons. There's the chat icon on the left hand side here. And what you'll notice here is this is a way for students to privately communicate with their teacher or a small group of students with their teacher. So in order to do so, if you are inside Microsoft Teams and then on the left hand side you choose this chat icon, you will go to the top where there's a square with a pencil. That represents a new chat. When I click on here, I can choose 
any student or teacher that is part of St. Lucie Public Schools email system and type in their last name here and it will recognize them. So for example, if I wanted to talk to a teacher, I can type in the last name and you'll see that I can see that there was some previous communication between the student and their teacher. They can communicate written down here by typing in things like, hello, what time is the meeting today? And then they can go back and forth. Or in addition, they have the option for audio calls or video calls. So just be on the lookout because your teacher may be trying to contact you as the student, the parent, via Microsoft Teams so that they can communicate about your child's learning and collaborate with one another. In addition, you'll see there's also an activity tab here. This is your activity feed and essentially what it is doing is it's letting you know the activity that is happening throughout the teams that you are a part of. So as things are posted in the teams, this will keep you in the know as to what is going on within your class. If at any time you need to make sure that your teacher specifically knows that you're talking to them in one of these general posts, because these general posts within a team actually are not private. That goes to your class as a whole. You can always at mention, which is the at sign, and type in the last name, and you'll see that that would put the teacher's name there, and then the student can ask them something that would be applicable to the entire class. We do want to remind students to make sure to be good digital citizens when in these platforms. So therefore, you want to make sure that you're using proper etiquette for communicating and collaborating in an online environment.